If you've ever struggled with AI ML papers, you're not alone. Most of them are really difficult to read, but reading papers is still essential for getting ahead in this field. So let's go over three beginner-friendly papers that don't require any crazy math. The first paper on our list is ImageNet Classification from 2012. This is the paper that exploded deep learning and proved that neural networks can actually work. One of the main authors on the paper is Ilya Sutskever, one of the geniuses behind ChatGPT and OpenAI's other models. He used to be the head researcher at OpenAI, but he actually left last year to build his own research team. It's also authored by Geoffrey Hinton, who recently won the Nobel Prize for his work in AI. And he does an amazing job of explaining concepts in a super easy to read way. The bottom line here is that there are some crazy geniuses behind this paper and reading their work in their own words is a great way to soak up some of their intelligence. If you're at your internship or job and you're talking to a more experienced AI engineer or researcher, you've got to be familiar with this paper. In fact, reading and understanding papers is one of the best ways to earn respect in this field. I'll list the names of all these papers in the description. I can't recommend them enough. Just make sure to actually check all of them out. You know that just watching these videos isn't going to help you. The second paper on this list is called Handwritten Digit Recognition with a Backpropagation Network. I know, a mouthful. This was one of the first papers on CNNs or convolutional neural networks. One of the things that makes this paper stand out is that it's written by Yan LeCun. Today, he's the head research scientist at Meta, and he's considered one of the godfathers of deep learning. Yan LeCun has also been a huge advocate of open sourcing models like Llama, so we can thank him for that. I also want to admit that there are still some tricky and confusing parts to this paper, but if you find yourself in that situation, don't feel bad. All it means is that there might be some fundamentals you need to brush up on. I find myself in that situation all the time. If I encounter a confusing concept in a tricky paper, I'll usually go on a brief side quest, review that concept, and then come back to the paper. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The best way to get up to speed with those fundamentals is to follow a structured learning path, like an online course. There's tons out there, both free and paid, and the important part is just picking one and sticking to it. There's no one magical course. The final paper on this list is more of an article. It's titled, A Few Useful Things to know about machine learning. I know, not the most creative title. This paper goes over machine learning on a much more broad level. What is machine learning? What problems can it solve and what problems can it not solve? What are the main categories and algorithms in machine learning? If you're looking for a high level overview, it's a great place to start. However, I want to finish out this video by emphasizing one more thing. Just watching these YouTube videos and even reading the papers that I recommend isn't enough. You have to get your hands dirty and try to code up the concepts in these papers. Implementing models from scratch is one of the best ways to build a deep understanding. It might sound cliche, but the code doesn't lie. Okay, if you've built some basic projects and you're looking for some more advanced ones, check out my video on three AI ML projects you've never heard of. I guarantee that at least one of those projects will be entirely new to you. And of course, don't be a TensorFlow Timmy.